Ty, now Ty's, Ty's going extreme, saying if Josh Johnson didn't get hurt, we would have won. I don't know about that, brother. I that looked will happen pretty before bad got in that hurt. game. Ty looked pretty that bad in that will... game. I have more confidence yeah. in, in uh, our third-string quarterback now, and I don't really have much confidence in him. So, uh, I... I don't know. Have we talked about Darnold? I th- did I? I, I Sam think Darnold? I shared no, my... we really haven't touched on Sam Darnold. You and I haven't. I don't think so. And yeah, if we did, what the it... hell? We'll do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Uh, let's go ahead. That's a good point. We'll we'll bring it up. Darnold QB three here. Um, I've been saying that I think Darnold might be a lot like Alex Smith starting out, where so. he was on a bad team. With five different OCs and five different seasons, no, you know, lack of weapons, lack of O line. Even if the coaching was good, it was a carousel. Uh, yeah, I mean, and the other thing that gives me some hope is to see how Geno Smith has had his re- renaissance after getting away from the Jets. Um, so, I mean, I'm not saying he'll do that or that he'll be Alex Smith, but I mean, I think he could be closer to Alex Smith than he is to three million a year. What he signed with us for, so. I don't know. We'll see. I think, you know, I think having a good defense helps too. So you're not having to, to, you know, push or uh, what's the right word that I'm looking for, for that when you're uh, uh, pre- press, it. you're not having to press. <laughs> oh no. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Here we go. No, so you won't have to press it as much and force turnovers. And also, Kyle, you gotta be careful what you say open. around me. It starts to trigger songs. My mom's the same way. Oh, my dad used That's to get awesome. driven crazy by it. He's like, oh my God, stop. <laughs> hey, it keeps it fun. I like it. Uh, you know, and ultimately, ultimately, you know, with Darnold, uh, you know, Kyle gets guys wide open. So he won't have to be forcing into such tight windows, which causes a lot of his interceptions so i mean i'm not saying he's going to be great i mean i'm hoping we don't even see him let's say that but if we do i i have higher hopes than a lot of people do for what sam Darnold could do. and put it this way kyle wanted him kyle tried to trade for him and you know, the jets rejected i think someone said a first round pick i don't that i'm not as sure about it uh but somebody was saying that and so and we know he liked him coming out so i my whole kyle thing with him is this magic. you're bringing him in as a third string quarterback there is zero expectations for this guy. Your expectation for him is that he doesn't play. That's what your expectation as a 49er fan should be because you don't want him to play. Because if he's playing, that means you're pretty much screwed. And you're in a really bad situation again. That means you can't keep your quarterbacks healthy. Trey Lance is hurt again. Like, what the hell? You know, you pretty got hurt again. Like, what, what are we doing here? Like, again, really? And this is what your situation is. He should never have to play unless it's in the preseason. Or in a blowout where you essentially are like, you know what, we're going to put our third stringer in and he's going to play the fourth quarter handing off to uh, Ty Davis Price six times. You know what I mean? Like this, this is a situation that we hope never comes to fruition. The Niners are essentially saying, okay, he's a third string quarterback. He has some, he has some skill. He, you know, was graded pretty high in some, by some people coming out in the NFL draft. He's never been in a situation like the 49ers, like Ted Ted said, with weapons and, and a good defense around him. So, but again, you, no one wants to see this guy play. No. You don't want the only him to way play. I do. The only way I do is so he can raise his stock and we can either trade him away uh, before the, the trade deadline, like say Purdy comes back healthy and Darnold played well enough that somebody might be interested in him, or – let him walk at the end of the season and get a compensational pick because someone wants to pay him a lot after what they saw him do with us. That's so it. Those are two things. Those are two things that, uh, that I would like. I would rather not play. see him all year, and we finally freaking win a Super Bowl, and our quarterback, whoever it is, stays healthy all season. I'm I will so say, st- I will, I will say that if if Purdy can't play Week One, like I've kind of been saying, I think Week Five, Week Seven, you know, IR or PUP for him, and then. You know, Darnold is competing for the number one. I mean, there's a chance he could beat out Lance. Um, I, I don't think it's likely. I think the only way realistically is if Lance gets hurt. But I'm not going to say it's impossible for Darnold to win that starting job if Purdy is out of the picture for a week one. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him Neither on the either. field at all. 
I don't want to see him active because if that happens, that means we're having some problems. He no, no. should essentially be on a uh, behind the scenes. I can't even say behind the scenes like backup for Purdy or Lance because Purdy really doesn't need anybody in his ear. And if we're going to think about anybody putting anything in anybody's ears, that didn't sound right. Uh, <laughs> hi oh you guys hey. know what I'm trying to and there goes the street. Pause, pause. Uh, edit that. Edit. Hey, we're, we're past 20 minutes at least. Um, I mean, we have a, a, a quarterback uh, coach who essentially played the position who never coached in his life until now. So, yeah, yeah I mean, he, he just, listen, I have no, I don't have no hatred for the kid. I just don't want to see him play because him nah, playing neither. signals bad things for us. Yeah, but, I mean, the best Niners, thing is, People were making like all this stuff out like, I can't believe it. What? What do you mean? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's a third string quarterback. They wanted us to go spend $14 million on a third stringer. Like people are yeah. not every Fast. player that hits free agencies. The Niners should pick up. It doesn't work like that. It's not monopoly money. Stop. No Let doubt. Go. No doubt. It's amazing, too, that if Purdy is healthy and starts week one, that he'll have two number three overall picks backing him up. Backing him up. Hey, listen, so wild. if that's the case. Mr. Irrelevant versus two number three I overall. have serious so love for Purdy, and it has nothing to do with anything other than the dude has massive cojones, and he's like <laughs> this big. He's tougher than I'll ever be in my life, and everybody respects him for it, and he can play. He has no arm. Two top five, two top five QBs, two top five defensive linemen. Because Clellan Farrell was number four overall, right behind Bosa. Two crazy. behind Bosa, isn't that well? 